everyone, I'm Mariah. I'm going to be leading a short, quick little yoga and meditation activity today. I'm sure we've had a long day of learning, so everyone stand up in your own personal space, so in your little square. Make sure we're not touching or running into any of our friends. We're gonna start by a little bit of shaking and breathing, okay? So we're gonna use our limb to shake them out. So we're gonna start with our right hand and shake five times, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. Shake your left hand, one, two, three, four, five. Right foot, one, two, three, four, five. And left foot, one, two, three, four, five. Great, now shake them all together. Roll your head around, get really silly. Nice, now we're gonna take a couple of deep breaths or use our shoulders and inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, lift up and exhale. Great. So today we're gonna to go on a little bit of a nature walk through our garden, our imaginary garden around us, right? So we're gonna be tiptoeing through our garden in our personal space, careful not to touch anything around you, right? So as we tiptoe, we're gonna think about all the things that we would see in a garden. So if we went on a garden walk, what kinds of things we would see? Think inside of your head, not out loud, okay? Don't disturb your neighbors. So think for just a moment, maybe close your eyes. Hmm. Okay, so some of the first things that came to mind for me were things like trees, um, bees, uh, flowers, butterflies, dirt, cocoons, maybe birds, maybe some cactus since we live in Colorado, um, a few other things um, I'm sure you've thought of too, maybe frogs. Uh, so we're going to go through our garden tour today and we are going to explore different yoga poses and how we can connect to our garden. All right, so one of the first things we're going to start with is cocoon. Cocoons are where uh, caterpillars go and then we know what comes out of cocoons, so we'll get through that. So let's get down onto our knees. We're going to get into a teeny, teeny little cocoon. So curling up into a small ball, walk your hands out, forehead down on the mat, nice and small, into a small little ball. Sitting in your cocoon, nice and tight. Take three deep breaths, okay? So taking three deep breaths, I want to hear your breathing. Good. Two more breaths in your cocoon. Stay nice and small. See who can stay the stillest and the quietest. Good. And then slowly coming up out of your cocoon, reaching your arms up, waking up to a beautiful butterfly. So we're going to come back out onto our bottoms bring our feet together and make little butterfly wings. So make sure that we don't run into our neighbors. So if we need to scoot forward, to scoot back, do that. Holding your feet around, or your hands around your feet and flapping your wings like a butterfly, right? So you can be flying side to side, taking deep breaths as you go. Good, breathing is important here. That is the key to yoga, all right? So breathing like a big, beautiful butterfly, flapping your wings and then stop we're gonna stop our butterfly on a beautiful flower. Our beautiful flower pose is curling your hands, your pretty flower petals through your leaves and out. So you have your beautiful flower petals. Maybe lift your feet up, maybe try not to fall over. If you do, just get back up. Maybe rock side to side, blowing your flower in the wind, showing off your flower petals. Maybe you're a rose or a sunflower. Beautiful, great. So bring your flower back down to the ground. Reach your arms up, take a big breath in, and exhale down. Good, so something that really loves flowers are bees, right? So bees help us pollinate our flowers and keep them healthy. So we're gonna do something called bee breath today. And bee breath is just how it sounds. It's the sound of a bee, so bzzz. So we're gonna do inhale, breathe in, and when we exhale, we're gonna breathe out like this just like a little bee would do, right? So breathe in all together. Exhale, bee breath. Maybe flap your wings like a bee. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathing out while you do your bee breath. Not too loud, not too quiet. Good, one more time. Nice and quiet this time. Good. 
So with our bees, they like to fly around just like birds do, right? So we're gonna get up and do bird pose. So staying in your in your little space, right? In your uh, your box or your square. Stand up nice and tall. We're gonna stand on one foot for birds. So maybe keep your toes down, balance yourself, make your little birdie wings. If they're too big and they're hitting your neighbors, bring them in, okay? So you have your little birdie wings and we're gonna lean forward, maybe balance on one foot and flap our wings like a little bird. So flying through, checking out all the flowers. If you fall over, come back up, get your bird together and try again. So balancing, maybe if you're flying your wings, it keeps you a little unbalanced, so maybe keep them still. Good, awesome. Now come back to standing, take a deep breath in, exhale, sigh it out. One more breath. Good, now let's try bird on the other side. So standing nice and tall, bringing that foot up, maybe it can go behind you if it doesn't kick your friend and then get your wings ready, right? So taking a deep breath in and then leaning forward, flying like a bird. Breathing. Awesome, don't run into your friends, stay in your little space. Good, when you're done with that side, come down, maybe wiggle it out. Good, next we're gonna do tree pose because birds love trees and there's many trees to be seen in gardens, right? So we're gonna stand nice and tall with our feet our arms spread open, and we're gonna try to get our foot right onto our ankle. So knee is wide out like to the side. Maybe it brings up if you wanna stand on one foot, but only if you're not gonna fall over into your friends. So maybe stay here. So for tree pose, you have your limbs, right? Your limbs are here. They could be moving limbs in the wind, run, uh, like rustling through the, through the trees in the wind, or you can have your still limbs that stay really still and quiet. So it's up to you. If you're moving around, keeping them above your head and in front of your body is good so they don't run into your partner. Or if you're still, just staying nice and still and taking four deep breaths. One. Two. Three. One more breath. Four. Good. Wiggle it out side to side. And then change sides. So you're gonna put your other foot down and bring that foot planted into your ankle, okay? So arms out wide, get your limbs ready. Maybe they're holding still or maybe they're blowing in the wind this time. Taking four deep breaths. One, two, three, and four. Good job, bring your hands down by your side, stand nice and tall. Next, we're gonna do cactus. So there's a lot of cactus, we know, in Colorado, in the mountains, sometimes in gardens. So we're gonna do our cactus. Same thing as a tree. You can have your limbs of your cactus out by your side, so bend your elbows, hands face forwards. They can stay here, or you can tilt one arm forward, have a crooked cactus. So it's your choice. You get to stay here for four deep breaths, and you have to count inside of your head nice and quiet. So whichever cactus you choose, take a deep breath. One, two, three, and four. Good, so notice my feet are staying really still in place. I know it's hard to stay still, but let's try to keep our feet in the same place for these standing poses, okay? <clears throat> So after cactus, we're gonna do sunshine. We all know that plants and flowers need sunshine to survive. So we're gonna be a big ray of sunshine, stepping our feet just a little wider than where we were, and then reaching our arms out in front of us and over our head, making a big ray of sunshine. Great. So your ray of sunshine, with your eyes and your head, you're gonna look around in circles and spread your ray of sunshine all the way out around you. And then go the other way, tilt your head in a circle, spread your ray of sunshine all the way around you. Good, now stay here, one deep breath all together. <sighs> Good, breathing. Like to hear the breath. Good, now bring your sunshine rays down if you have space. If you don't have space in front, on the sides of you, come down in front of you. Or bring those suns, uh, rays of sunshine into your body. So from here, we're gonna do watering can because we know that plants need sunshine and water to survive. So we're going to do both. 
water and can is something we use in our gardens. If it doesn't rain enough, we have to use our own water. So our water and can is here. You're gonna make your palms together nice and tight, holding a cup of water, right? So we're gonna tilt forwards and water our can, keeping our backs nice and flat. So if we're standing here, we're gonna tilt over, water our flower, and slowly come back up. Good, that's one. We're gonna do two more. So watering your flower, tilt over, inhale, stand back up. One more, breathe in. Exhale, fold over, water your flowers, and come back up to standing. Good. Let your arms go, shake them out, wiggle, wiggle. Stay in your personal space. Next thing we're gonna do is rain. So hopefully it rains enough for our gardens. Like I said, we sometimes have to use our watering cans. But this time we're gonna do our rain. So get your rain fingers out in front of you. Right, little rain fingers. We're gonna reach them up to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, fold and rain down. Inhale, reach on up to the sky, rain fingers all the way down. Great job, everyone. Slowly come back up, rain fingers up to the sky, pull them down from the clouds. Great, and roll back up to standing. If you need to do one more rain, do it right now. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold, nice and slow. Good, now come up to standing. Ah, take two deep breaths with your shoulders. So inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, side it out. Inhale, exhale. Good, I like to hear your breathing, it's really great. So after rain, and something that rain needs to help is our sprouts. So sprouts are just teeny little plants that um, are the begun, beginning of a plant. So they come out of the little seeds, then you have your sprout, then you have your flowers and your plants. So we're gonna do sprout pose. So if you can bring your hands together by your heart into a little namaste or prayer hands. If that doesn't feel comfortable, you can clasp your hands in a little fist, like a little sprout. So we're gonna sit back, you're standing here, and you're gonna sit back like you're almost in a chair, but you're squeezing into a teeny little ball, like a little sprout, right? And then you can bring your hands, palms out, bring them out like a little sprout, right? So we're sprouting out of the ground here. You can wiggle your fingers like you're coming out of the soil. Maybe wiggle up and then wiggle back down. Wiggling back up and wiggle down with the little sprout. Maybe you're staying really still. Maybe your sprout is so small that it's not quite growing through the soil yet. So you're staying in a tight little ball here. Two more breaths. I want to hear your breathing. Breathe in and exhale. One more time. Breathe in and let it go. Awesome. Now let your sprout arms go, shake, shake, shake. Come back to standing nice and tall. <clears throat> Here we're going to widen our stance, so wide feet. And we're gonna squat slowly, slowly down into frog pose. So frog pose, you're squatting like a frog. We all know what that looks like and we know what it sounds like too. So if you wanna rip it with me, feel free. Hands on the ground, we're gonna take a deep breath in and exhale. Next time when we inhale, we're gonna breathe in, but when we exhale, we're gonna jump up like a frog, only if you're safe and you don't hit your neighbors, okay? So let's try that two more times, or you can stay nice and still. Whatever, choose, whatever you choose is okay. So take a deep breath in, exhale, frog. Good, now come back down. Maybe you wanna rib it this time. So inhale, breathe in, exhale, rib it. Come back down. Okay, one more time. One last frog for everyone. Breathe in. Exhale, rib it. Jump up and back down into your frog pose, nice and safe. And then come down onto your bottoms. Fold your legs and then roll onto your knees. So we're gonna start, or we're gonna end right where we started, in our cocoon pose, right? So all around the world we have butterflies coming out of cocoons all the time. It's just like when we are coming out of our shell and getting comfortable with new things. Maybe it's silly, but we're trying new things all together all the time, right? So we're gonna go back into our cocoon and we're gonna finish off class with three deep breaths, okay? So slowly crawling your hands down onto your mat, forehead comes down onto the ground, slowly down into a teeny tiny ball, taking three deep breaths here, staying super still, Saying who can be the quietest, 
and two can be the fillest. Two more breaths. One and two. Good. Slowly coming back up out of your cocoon, reaching your arms up like a butterfly. And exhale, hands down onto your knees, sitting nice and tall, maybe wiggling a little bit to get cozy. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me today. I had so much fun touring our garden and learning about different yoga poses. I had so much fun and I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you so much. Namaste.